Well, good morning, everyone. A uh, little bit chilly this morning. Uh, it's 44 degrees when I left the house, and uh, I think it uh, was 46 when I launched. <clears throat> it's been cold all week. We had a uh, cold front come through here late Monday, and the temperatures dropped down in the 30s for, uh, I think, three straight nights. Had a friend come down from Georgia last Sunday, and uh, we went fishing Monday morning uh, before the front came through. It was really, really foggy early Monday, and uh, we could barely see across the lagoon to the other side, but we did go over that side first and, and try to fish a little bit, and didn't have much luck. Caught a couple of small trout. Uh, then we headed up to where I normally fish, hoping we could come up with a redfish. But uh, I failed miserably to uh, put him on any kind of nice fish for the day. Uh, we caught uh, a lot of lizard fish, and eventually I did catch a, a one redfish. It's fairly small, but uh, by that time the wind was starting to come up and, and we needed to start heading back. So. Got your chance now, you're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't think you'd catch fish in here, but you can. <laughs> well, yeah. I've actually seen them going across the bar. Redfish, little one. Rum? No, it's a redfish. Ah. Not too bad. already somebody on my spot up there so I'm going to let them have it. After the cold front came through we had a uh, high pressure system set in on us. And some big waves coming. Uh, high pressure is okay for a day or so but uh, after about three days, it can be nothing but detrimental to fishing. Big boat must come by. I didn't see him. You don't want one of these catching you sideways. Let's go back to that shoreline. Maybe this uh, wave action got the fish excited. Woke them up. At least I'm going to say that. And hope that. There we go. Little trout. Hmm. 
All right. Bail is broken. It's time to catch some fish. I know it looks like I'm sitting right on the beach, but I'm actually in uh, three and a half feet of water. another really small trout. Oh gosh, so much grass on the water this morning. The, uh, when I launched it was dead high tide. I mean, there's no water moving at all, and it's starting to move out. And uh, and it's pushing the grass with it. <laughs> Even though it's high tide, look how much shoreline is exposed. Uh, probably at least a foot of water below a normal summer high tide. Uh, We've had a strong north wind for several days and it just pushes all the water out. Ooh, something big over there. If he's still there, whatever it was, ooh, landed right on top of some bait fish. Ooh, 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 come on, come on. Boy, if that doesn't get your blood to boil, then nothing will. There's a big fish over there. Come on. Come on. I think my lure is scaring them. There's a big swirl over there. That's that's There is a fish over there. Exactly where, I don't know, but I know there's one over there.
Well, at least there's bait in this area, and that's the first I've seen this morning, so. Find the bait, find the fish. There we go. Guys running all over the place. That's redfish. Of course, he got a lot of energy. I finally got him out. Nice redfish. I'm going to say he's 21 inches. Maybe 20. Split the difference, 20 and a half. Thank you, my friend. Gosh, there's a huge redfish. Just right here. That was about a 30, 35-inch redfish. I'm going to assume that redfish was swimming that way. He was swimming that way, but he was very slow. <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering if he was a redfish that had been caught and released and just didn't have his bearings. Because he was a big one. Well, guys, I've got to call it quits. I fished a little over three hours and 15 or 20 minutes. It's warmed up nicely. Not a very exciting day, but that's the way fishing is. So thank you for watching and we'll see you hopefully next week. <laughs>